Pour cette anecdote, je vous donne la parole. Microphone, s'il vous plaît. Merci. Quand j'étais enfant, Um, I would tell everyone, je disais à tout le monde, très fièrement, que je suis Norvégien, 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 Of two people who migrated in very different ways. My dad had to, and my mom wanted to. Because of their migration, I'm linked to a different continent than the one I was born into and grew up in. Dans, sur un My parents have both gone through very big changes in their lives, linked to their migration. De grands changements dans leur vie, en My dad came dans from Chile to Norway at 15 as a political refugee, together with my grandfather. After some years, he traveled to Peru. He was not yet allowed to go back to Chile, so he went to Peru. And there he had planned to meet a childhood friend who had married. So my dad was invited to visit her parents' home. And when he rang the door, it was my mom who answered. Because she was the daughter, the fourth daughter in the house. Um, so they married the following year. And she moved with him to Norway. And three years later, I was born in Oslo. Um, when I was two, they divorced, sadly. And consequently, I learned to know them separately. And it's been a source of much reflection to observe how they have negotiated their feelings and their relationship with their own um, For them, them, there have been very tangible changes. They've noticed very clearly the difference between what was their home and what became their new home. Um, there's been a clear contrast uh, before and after. For my dad, Norway was safety and freedom. Um, for my mom, it was the place where she became an independent adult. My parents have both missed the countries they came from, I'm sure, uh, in their own way. They were young when they had me, so I've in many ways watched them grow as people and as immigrants. And now that I'm working on the subject academically, um, I look back on memories and, and things that are said with new eyes. And what stands out is an overall feeling that my parents were both much more concerned with the difference between us as Norwegians than what I was. I always felt very distant from their perspective on our reality. And the fact that I know all the national quirks and norms and that I don't have a language barrier has made things a lot easier for me. Uh, language was a bridge that my parents had to cross over, and for me, it was always natural. I haven't had to adapt to a new system like they had to. And for a long time, I thought that this difference between us was the main reason for our different perspectives on society. For me, xenophobia was, has been something that I was told of as a child and that I experienced more gradually as I became older. So I guess you could say that I am disappointed in Um, I really didn't think much about things like 
discrimination or racism or environmental discrimination until I reached my early 20s. I started noticing public debate. It felt completely absurd when I began to realize that my reality was a source of confusion or concern and even irritation for others. Um, my fellow Norwegians, whom I perhaps very innocently had assumed to view me to be as natural a part of society as I did myself, um, I think it was around this time that I, that I started to try to place myself in the context and try to figure out where I belonged or where I wanted to belong. And of course, I meant I was completely in region because whenever I visited South America, I felt very different from everyone. I lived in Colombia for a year with my dad and, and I felt like a foreigner. Uh, but suddenly there seemed to be this need to, to justify myself, to justify why I act so much, uh, to explain how it could be that I was so Norwegian in my mentality, in my behavior, even though I was neither adopted nor I started to notice that how I didn't fit into the image that was being presented as and reproduced about what a multicultural person is and what an individual is. Like when people are, are genuinely surprised to hear that neither of my parents are born in Norway. It feels very bizarre. Um, people often ask, where are you from? And this is possibly the most boring topic of conversation that I know. Um, probably because it comes up very, very often um, at bus stops. Um, I've been asked even during an exam, uh, in random shops, in the street, at cafes, uh, at restaurants, and it feels like an intrusion because they are strangers and they seldom ask my name or bother to introduce themselves. If they are Norwegian, I usually answer If they are from Oslo, I will answer the neighborhood that I grew up in. And this has often produce uncomfortable silence, uh, sometimes followed by a slightly annoying but where are you really from? The more polite ones ask, uh, where are your parents from? Um, it sometimes feels like my appearance automatically makes everyone else entitled to know my personal history, even though I'm not interested in um, To me, it has been a way of taking control of my personal space, uh, to draw the line very clear and bright uh, between my autonomy and the use of my Restricting the entry to my story has been very freeing. Mm, the polite ones are sometimes even short. My parents are Latin American. Or my dad is from Chile, my mom is from Peru. And I very seldom bother to ask them back because unless it's a person that I'm getting to know, I'm not really interested. I felt the most uncomfortable when I must drive identity based on ethnic background. When the label such as of not Norwegian ethnic background, of foreign ethnicity, the second generation immigrants are used outside of research context. I often feel that what is really meant is brown. Uh, uh, I experience it as very appearance fixated. Math. 
Je trouve que c'est aussi purement fixé sur l'apparence. Oui, je peux parfois remarquer que mes parents sont américains, que mes parents sont américains, mais c'est quelque chose de très intégré dans mon quotidien et dans ma façon dont j'ai été élevé. Et c'est très intégré dans mon quotidien et dans ma façon dont j'ai été élevé. Et je pense que c'est très important de trouver quelque chose qui serait un peu plus utile que d'essayer de retrouver les caractéristiques de mon caractère qui viennent d'une influence ou d'une influence. Is that is the fact that even though my parents are both born in Latin America, they are not from the same country. In fact, they are from neighboring countries. 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 They are from neigh